So Brian, uh, that was awesome. Uh, th thanks for joining me this afternoon. This is a great occasion. I think we are the first to attempt the American Center for Mobility um, off-road course here in uh, Detroit. Actually, this is fantastic. Yeah, they put together a nice track for us, no doubt. We've got this uh, tight curve, which we've hit every single one of them yeah. perfectly. We've got a, uh, a sand pit. We've got a log obstacle, rocks. We've got any sort of off-road environment uh, challenge that you could imagine with this loaded dump truck, this loaded 47X. Look at that turn right there. Yeah, Amazing. She turns very beautifully. It's perfect for those vocational customers that are working on those uh, those tight job sites. All right, so we were just talking about the the rock obstacle here at the ACM off-road track. And it, you can just get that sense for how well it's doing across the rock course. And again, this truck is the same, got the same uh, vocationally tuned isolators, the cab mounts as the 49X. So we have that comfortable uh, environment, that comfortable ride, even going over something as challenging as yeah, the rocks. Very quiet and smooth, especially considering how rough the obstacle is. All right, so as we're going through this section of the course, Brian, what's the one of the first things you notice? The maneuverability. Yeah, it, it just, that was kind of what we talked about there uh, in the walk around. And it's something is if you're thinking about uh, an X series product, 49 versus 47, um, you know, we've got a little bit of a better turning radius, about a foot and a half difference on the 47X. So if you have that, um, that need to really, um, you're at a, you're in an ermit environment, you're on a job site with lots of equipment, the 47X is your product. And not only the maneuverability, but the ease of the steering wheel effort is really yeah. nice as well. Very automotive-like, pickup truck-like. Yeah. Manipulating the wheel to get through these curves doesn't wear out shoulders. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, Brian, you, you talk a lot about, talk to customers all the time about the DT12V, uh, you know, purpose designed for vocational markets. We demonstrated that a lot last summer with rock free mode, off-road mode. What are, what are you hearing from customers out in the field? You know, now that we've had some trucks delivered out in the marketplace. Um, we're starting to get feedback rolling in. And uh, I'd say in general, it's been very positive that people like what they see in general they're out there doing the job and one of the feedback i like to relay the most is most of the operators once given an et12 don't want to give it up yeah <laughs> which is awesome right so one of the things to note while going over the rocks is the off-road mode oh right yeah so off-road mode tends to we have three modes of operation with the dt12 economy which is exactly what it sounds like performance which is um, also exactly what it sounds like where it's just trying to get you from a to b pretty much as fast as possible. And then the off-road mode, off-road mode tends to hold whatever gear you're in and try to stay there versus shifting up and down and around and yeah. uh, trying to save you fuel or do uh, better performance. It just holds the gear uh, very much like in a manual transmission. And if you want to coax an upshift, you just give it a little more throttle. And if you want a, a downshift, then it'll downshift when it bogs down to about a thousand RPM. So is there anything we've done in listening to customer feedback in, in updating any of the functionality of the DT12V? Yeah, so most of the feedback's been pretty good. Um, speaking of implementing some of that feedback, we have some customers that got early units and they've been running them for us, uh, been doing some pretty extreme things with the DT12. And in that regard, um, they had some creative or critical feedback yeah. that w there's some areas that though we're very good we could improve on so we took that feedback and built it into the product and now we have some updated shift maps that can handle terrain and weights and so forth that's awesome a little bit yeah. better than we were doing before so brian we just talked a lot about the dt12v uh, but there's a whole lot more coming or that's uh, been delivered from Detroit over the past year. Now, what can you tell us about the Gen 5 engines? You know, what makes those, you know, um, perfect for the vocational market? Yeah, one of the things I'm most excited about out here today is, is a chance to drive one of the first Gen 5 DD13s in this truck yeah. um, with ratings up to 525 horsepower, which we've got 525 yeah. horsepower under the hood here. Yeah, so that's always that's right. nice. We made lots of improvements around robustness and fuel efficiency. And the biggest, most exciting one for the vocational truck market is we have special ratings 
and hardware uh, being a new turbocharger that allows us to hopefully put um, DPF regenerations uh, into the past as a thing that, that isn't going to interrupt workflow anymore. Uh, in doing so, we've got a, a thermal control valve on oh, the yeah. back of the turbocharger okay. that, that basically creates the heat that uh, makes the after treatment perform oh, okay. uh, to the best okay. of its ability. So under just about any load in engine speed conditions, the engine's capable of a regen and also almost any ambient condition as well. So okay. long idle times, lots of PTO use, things that work trucks are notorious for, yeah. um, it's gonna perform um, heads above previous versions of the DD13. So hopefully we keep the DPF lamp off as a nuisance yeah. for the operator and the day-to-day -day operations of the trucks out there doing their various vocations. That's awesome, so keeping the truck working Reducing downtime, I like the sounds of that. So Brian, one of the other things I've heard a lot about with the Gen 5 engines is the all new after treatment system. Um, you know, specifically the, the weight savings, but is there anything else, what else would a, a vocational fleet want to hear, know about? Uh, what other advantages are there? So the uh, after treatment is a brand new version. Um, it, it's slightly smaller, it weighs 60 pounds, less okay. than the pre yeah. previous version goes down to a single DPF canister. It also packages very nicely, uh, gives us a clean uh, back of cab line for okay. upfit and Huge. equipment Huge. That, that goes yeah. on the chassis. Okay. And one other area of improvement was uh, DPF intervals for changing uh, basically okay. service life has improved depending on your vocation. So Brian, we uh, you know hit on DT12V and uh, the new Gen 5 engines. Um, you know, one of the other pieces of technology that I think we were really excited to launch last year and, and bringing, is bringing best-in-class safety into the vocational market, right, with Detroit Assurance. Um, you know, what are some of the, the features that really, you know, would resonate with a vocational customer? Uh, my opinion, the collision mitigation is probably the king of the list because, you know, it's active all the time, whether you've got the cruise on or not, yeah. you know, while you're driving down the road. Right. And it's always kind of looking out for danger. And, you know, if you engage the cruise control, then it's, you know, pacing you off the cars ahead of you. Um, and, and the other thing, I mean, collision mitigation is probably the, like I said, the king of the list. Um, it's, it's bar none, the game changer. And yeah. driving vehicles without it now, um, and I just don't feel quite as comfortable behind the wheel. Right. Uh, side guard assist is also um, an amazing feature yeah. that lights uh, up the B pillar over there with the orange triangle when somebody's in your blind spot and should you hit the, uh, the right blinker to change lanes or maneuver or if you just maneuver in towards them, yeah. it turns red uh, and gives you an audible indicator as well because even though the mirrors on a truck are very good, yeah, right, right. They, they still... Uh, unfortunately have some blind spots on the truck. Exactly. And they work all the way from yeah. the back of the truck up to the front. Well, just think about a job site, a side guard assist you. You might have one of your, your coworkers, your buddies there on that passenger side. Maybe it's, they're in that blind spot and you get that warning. And, and though it's not dusty out today, um, you know, we, we've been on job sites where it's like super dusty and the assurance is actually capable of seeing okay. through the dust right. cloud. So, if you're following a truck into a work site or something and there was a big trail of dust and that guy hit the brakes and, sure and you couldn't cool. see him through the dust, the assurance will also take over for you okay. in, that, in huge. that regard. That's, that's huge, it's a game changer. It is a game changer. So thinking about uh, you know, assurance, um, you know, is there anything new that we've brought to the market that makes it even better? I think I've heard a few things, but can you maybe kind of go into that a little bit? Sure, we've got a, a feature called brake hold. So if you're sitting somewhere and rather than holding your foot actively on the brake, if you just give it a little extra push for pressure, um, it locks on okay. and says hold and it will hold it indefinitely. All right, so um, when we first got in the truck, uh, Brian, what, you know, we talked about maneuverability, but what else have you noticed uh, you know, with that shorter hood? What do you notice right off the bat? Well, the cab visibility in this truck is got to be one of the best I've ever been in. Yeah, it's... From being able to see your approach angles to out the windows, out the back, it's just a beautiful view. It's a much better uh, level of visibility over the 4700. Uh, it's a couple feet different in terms of that over cab view to where you can see on the ground. Um, a lot uh, much improved over uh, even some of our top competitors uh, out in the marketplace, even some of the shorter hood version of 
uh, you know what our competitor offerings are out there. So it's one of the one of the best visibility uh, offerings out in the marketplace. So we're talking about the hood, Brian. Is there anything else you notice? Sure, and I realize my opinion may not be unbiased, but uh, <laughs> being a semi-pro truck driver, um, and, and that may be taking it with a grain of salt, <laughs> the Isotech mounting system, you know, the cab and the hood are one yeah. with each other. And some of the older trucks, the hood <laughs> was mounted solidly on the front frame rails mm -hmm. and would flip flop. Yeah. And it's very distracting, especially if you're you know, watching out for danger uh, a around a job site or, you know, around yeah, it's, a crowded area or something. And, and it's really nice going down Michigan roads. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Speaking of operator comfort, we've made a couple of improvement, important improvements. And actually it's more about, not necessarily the operator, but the operator's passenger and thinking about some of the improvements we've made to this seat that I'm sitting in, the battery box seat. We've shaved a few inches off um, from the bottom here to provide some additional leg room. So again, that was some feedback we got from, from customers for additional um, cab comfort. We're also now offering a, uh, a two-person bench seat as well. So you know, a lot of our customers like to bring uh, you know, a whole crew out to the job site. They have that middle seat so they can now bring that, uh, have that three-person uh, operation go to the job site. So, and then a number of improvements, number of new additions to the X-Series. Well, Brian, before we uh, get rid of this load, one of the things that um, you know we talked a lot about with the 49X, but is, is critical for the X-Series, is that flex panel in the dash, right? Well, one of the things we mentioned was the integration of body controls. And this truck has is a perfect example of that, right? So it delivers on that flexibility for our customers and for truck equipment manufacturers to mount that equipment. And look, there's nothing in between. Uh, there's you know, no there's a cup holder. <laughs> in between uh you know there's a lot more room in between so I, what else I, this is fantastic yeah they've got all their body stuff here there's a camera system there's all your tailgate and hoist controls are all right here yeah. in the flex panel and it looks really nice and it's all within the arm's reach that's perfect and again that was the design intent for that right so you can put a you know a, maybe a telematics device eld device or put some additional switches and gauges or Better yet, we've got we've got the, the the truck equipment manufacturer controls right there. All right, well, it's been a long day here in Detroit. Had a great time on the off-road course at the American Center for Mobility. Here, I'd like to thank Brian Nowitzki from Detroit Field Sales Engineering, and I'd like to thank you guys for joining us on this journey learning more about the X-Series from Western Star and the all-new 47X. Learn more about the X-Series and the 47X at westernstar.com.